Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to simulate electric motor noise inside of AMPUS. Uh, this is going to be a three-part series. Part one is going to focus on solving for the electromagnetic forces uh, using Maxwell. And then parts two and three are going to be um, importing those forces into AMPUS Mechanical to do a modal analysis followed by the harmonic response. So step one is to calculate the electromagnetic forces on the stator teeth of the motor. In order to do that, we need to create some arcs. And these arcs need to be in the air gap between the stator teeth and the rotor. And we want one arc for each tooth. And we want the arc to span from the, kind of the, the center of the air gap between one tooth to the center of the air gap between the tooth on the opposite side. So to, direct, to make those arcs, I'm going to go to draw, arc, and I'm going to use center point. Uh, switching to a cylindrical coordinate system to make this a little easier on myself. And I'm going to start by clicking on the origin. And then I know I'm going to make the distance from the origin 80.8 .8 millimeters. That'll put it right in the middle of that air gap. And then it's going to be rotating over 7.5 degrees. Because that's 7.5 degrees is the distance between each two in my hits. So right click and hit done. Now what that's done is it has created this arc here in purple. And you can see right now it's going from the center of this two to the center of this two. And again, that's not what we want. We want it to be rotated so that it goes from about this point here to this point here, right, spanning that here. So to, make, to move that, we go to Edit, Arrange, Rotate. And then what I want to do is I want to rotate that arc negative 3.75 degrees. Say OK. And you can see what that did is that that arc is now centered uh, on this tooth here. Um, the half of the arc is outside of my domain because of my symmetry condition. Um, and so I want to cut half of that arc off, but I'll do that in a minute after I finish with the rest of them. Uh, so next, I want to rename this from the default polyline one to tip one. Say OK. And then next, I want to duplicate that arc so that I have one in front of all of my teeth. So that is under edit, duplicate around axis, 7.5 degrees. Um, for me, that's the, again, that's the angle between my teeth. And I want seven of them. Click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead. Now that I have all seven air parts where I want them, I'm going to split those two. So I'm going to start with the one down here. I'm going to go to Modeler under Boolean and Split. I want to split it on the ZX axis. And I want to keep the positive side of that arc. Hit OK. You can see that I removed the other part I don't want and kept the um, part of the part that I do want. Next, I'm going to go to this tip. I'm going to change the coordinate system to relative CS1. That, um, that coordinate system is on the other symmetry um, edge there. And same thing, modeler, boolean. Oops, you need to select the tip. Here, select that. There we go. Select the tip. Modeler, boolean, split. And now again on the ZX, and I believe I want to keep the negative side. Hit OK. And now all of my arcs are right where I want them to be. So next, I'm going to go into um, under analysis. I'm going to go into setup one. And in here, I want to make sure that my stop time and my time step are functions of a variable. These can just be a, a number, um, but having them as a function of a variable will allow us to parameterize the motor speed later. Um, that way we can do a parametric sweep and get um, the, the acoustic, the harmonic response um, at different motor speeds. Okay, next we need to enable our harmonic force calculation so that we can calculate the harmonic forces on those arcs that we created. So we go under Maxwell 2D, go to enable harmonic force calculation and scroll down until we find all of the tips. So this is where you activate those seven tips that we created. And then go into advanced. And you want our time range. Uh, we also want this to be a uh, function of that variable we created. So I'm going to do that 
space here. Uh, say OK. And now we are ready to solve. So with everything all set up, we go to Maxwell 2D, analyze all. And this is going to take a couple minutes to solve, and then we'll look at the results once it's done. So now that our results have um, finished solving, we can come in and we can look at a couple of the result plots. Uh, this is just to make sure that everything solved correctly. Um, and assuming that it did, we're ready to make this, um, we're ready to add our parameter. So we go under Optometric Analysis and go into Add Parametric. Um, under Sweep Definitions, hit Add. And we want our variable, the sped mech, and then this is where you put in the um, motor speed that you want to look at. So for me, I'm going to go 1,000 RPMs to 5,000 RPMs, and I want to sweep in 1,000 RPM uh, steps. And then click Add and OK. And then under Options, you want to make sure you come in here and click Save, Field, and Mesh. Click OK to that. And that's it in Maxwell. So in the next video, I'll be going over how to import these forces into ANSYS Mechanical to solve for the harmonic response. This video is brought to you by Ozone Engineering, an ANSYS Elite Channel Partner. We use physics-based simulation to solve multidisciplinary engineering problems. We specialize in FEA, CFD, and high and low frequency electromagnetics. For more information, you can email us at info at ozoninc.com. Call us at our office phone number or visit our website at www.ozenink.com.